for the ones who feel like God has them in a hidden season. This is for the girlies who always feel like they're hidden, that the men's out there don't really be checking for them. Maybe I can relate. Men was not checking for me like that at all, mainly because of the assignment and the calling that was on my life. And God knew that there would be a particular man that would be able to handle the fullness of who he's called me to be, where I wouldn't have to dim my light or not be the full representation of my faith. One thing about me is I wanna be everything God said I can be. I want that for you too. Sometimes we have to go through seasons of obscurity. 90% of Jesus's ministry was in anonymity. We didn't hear about him for years. And he emerges when he's 30, lives for three years and dies to fulfill his assignment. We want to be the fullness of what God says. Some people can't have access to us. That means that we can't go certain places. We can't be in certain spaces and that's okay. You'll know you're hidden when certain opportunities pass you by. You'll know you're hidden when you have a certain desire, but it has not yet come to pass. I call this being in between the word and a couple of God's promises. It's because God is trying to do a work in us. He's trying to build our character. He's trying to get us to be so dependent on him that our main focus should be children of God. As a daughter, your main focus should be to be a daughter of God and allow him to orchestrate your steps. As you trust in him, lean not into your own understanding, acknowledge him in all your ways, he will make straight that path. But you can't get frustrated here. You can't get discouraged here. You can't fall into the trap of comparison, which is why you might have to put down the Instagrams and the TikToks, the Twitters, until you get anchored in your faith to the point that when life happens, you don't get discombobulated. You take everything to prayer. You seek the Lord. You ask for wisdom on how to navigate the space and trust that he will reveal you in due season. The worst thing you want is to be revealed prematurely where you don't have the character to sustain the magnitude of the calling. In Psalms 105, 19, that Joseph's character was purged until the promises of God came to pass. We're going to go through testing. We're going to go through different things things to get us to the place of perfection. The goal is not to be perfect. It's to be perfected, to look more like Christ for building faith and testing character. The goal is to allow ourselves to be found in position in the season in which God brings the manifestation of whatever he has promised and delight yourself in him through a place of relationship, he will give you the desires of your heart because your desires are his desires because of the relationship that you have, that you want whatever he wants for you. As you seek first the kingdom and righteousness, everything you need will be added on to you. And I want to encourage the girlies that feel like they're hidden, that feel like life is skipping over them, opportunities are skipping over them. There are moments, and I thought about this with the story of David, where you have been in the pasture, you have been gleaning, you have been obedient, but you don't look like Eliab. David's oldest brother, when Samuel came to anoint the next king, they went through the lineup of his brothers looking at appearance, but God looks at the heart. You want your heart to be at a place that when life hands you lemon, you immediately make lemonade. You don't get discombobulated or stressed out. Lay down your expectations. Don't allow false expectations or expectations unmet to lead you to disappointment. This is where you get in your word around godly friends. This is where you build each other up. Be vulnerable enough to share where you're struggling with so that you can be surrounded with prayer. You can be surrounded in community. You can be surrounded the way God needs you to be surrounded so you can go forth in the boldness of what he's called you to do. So girl, you're hidden. Enjoy the season. Jesus was hidden before his public ministry. Let God bring you forth in due season and enjoy the ride. Like enjoy anonymity, enjoy the mundane. It is a very humbling space to be. It's an opportunity for you to see yourself the way God desires you to see yourself. It's an opportunity for you to see the junk in your heart God wants to deal with. It's an opportunity for you to just exist. 
without the pressure of performance. Allow yourself to just be in this place where you're surrounded by God, learning him as both father and friend. And in the season he wants to reveal, he'll do it. Because we've all been hidden. Some parts of me is still hidden. The things that I'm doing, the podcast that I'm launching, my YouTube popping off, this has been eight to nine years of being behind the scenes, building with what God has placed in my hands. I'm starting to see the fruit of my labor, especially on my blogging platform for the one like me. I'm now starting to get more interactions, more comments, but it's because I decided to stay faithful to what God has given me despite seeing this success that I think I'm supposed to see. Hiddenness is not fun always, but it's absolutely necessary for what God has for us. And some of us will remain hidden in some areas of our lives for the duration of our life. And will you be okay to know that you're so surrounded and protected by God? You can't be a part of everything, nor can you have access to everybody. That there's a specific purpose you are put here for. You are formed in your mother's womb for a purpose, for such a time as this. So don't let the enemy punk you out of your inheritance because the Bible says in first in first Thessalonians 4, 11, to aspire to live a quiet and peaceful life, minding your business, working with what God has given you. That's what I aspire to be. And if my platform and my calling is loud because that's what God wants, he wants to put us into public spaces, but I desire a life minding my business. I may be transparent and vulnerable, but I will walk in discretion. There are things that you will never know about me because everybody doesn't need to know. I'll keep it in close proximity and close community, keeping it protected without people being able to put their opinion on it when it was never a conference call. This is all about a one-on-one relationship with God and making sure that we are doing what it is that he's called us to do. And it's going to come with mundaneness. It's going to come with frustration. It's going to come with feeling like you're overlooked. But at the end of the day, you answer to God and God has a plan for your life. And that is where you're going to focus and you're going to allow yourself to just exist. Just be, just be without pressure. Just be. If you are hidden, be hidden, baby. Not everybody, not everybody can go, can be a part of the process and that's okay. Release them, bless them, let them be whoever God is calling them to be. Pray for them from a distance, but focus on what you can do today to push the kingdom forward with what God has assigned you. If you don't know what that is, ask him, seek his kingdom, read his word, build devotion through relationship in scripture. For those who are new here, my name is Janae Carly. My goal is to help you grow in life, faith, and business. Until next time, holla.